Okay, uh, hello out there in electronics land. What you're seeing here is a, another variation of my serial LCD board, but this time instead of Arduino, we're going to be using it with the uh, microchip 18F2550 microcontroller. Um, I ported the um, routines that I wrote for Arduino, used the exact same electronics, and added to it to operate on this board. Let's look a little closer at the two main parts of this, little, of this project. Let's focus here up on the board over there. This board is called the Bolt, B-O-L-T. You can get it off of uh, eBay where I bought this one. Uh, some characteristics of the PIC 18F2550 is that it has a built-in uh, USB serial port. So you can go directly from serial port literally right into the chip. No extra electronics is needed. This particular configuration uses a 20 megahertz crystal. I got the light version. All these places you can add in extra components such as relays or an RS-232 connection and so forth. I added these headers. So I bought the light version which comes with the LEDs, these four switches which had a pull-up resistors that I clipped and removed. I would rather use mine externally. And it's really a complete low-cost um, development board. It comes with the, the software for it is free and it's put out by a gentleman named Miguel Martinez. The website is I believe in Mexico I suppose. What's nice that comes with this is a number of programs that are already written in ANSI C. You have to use MPLAB and the C18 compiler, both of which you can download for free. Um, the only question I have is in a commercial product, I'm not sure what the uh, licensing or something would be, but if you wanted to get started with a microchip pick, and you wanted some example programs to get you going, this has it. Alright, so uh, a little bit more on the Bolt. I can, you can find the uh, link to the website or you can hunt it down on eBay. Let's pull back out and take a look at the LCD display that I attached to it. Alright, like what I did before, uh, I programmed this up to do a couple of different things. I programmed it to, and it's only using four lines like on the Arduino, uh, I can print uh, text, characters, floats, or integers. You can see that 3.1415, of course, is pi. That's my name. That was a character string. Between the 387 and pi is a space. The 387, though, is where I have a pot connected to, uh, to the uh, analog to digital converter that comes out to one of the pins. And as I vary the pot, it reads the pot, returns an integer value, just like it does on Arduino. And it displays the integer value. Like I said, it can write uh, text, um, integers, floats, or characters, just like it did on the Arduino. What you're looking at here is a closer view of the Bolt 18F2550 board. Um, the board with the uh, controller and everything is about the light version is fifteen dollars or so um, 
has a 20 megahertz crystal like I mentioned before it's set up to with internal multipliers to operate at 48 megahertz here is your USB in and it can also supply power to the board you don't need a separate programmer here are switches you can use for testing here's the uh, resistors that pull the lines high I clipped those out because it interferes with certain things I was doing you can leave them or you can clip them out and here are eight LEDs connected through to port B port B and parts of port A come out down here at the bottom I as you saw earlier where I had the pins and stuff soldered in uh, you can plug an LCD display directly into this the uh, pins for our uh, port B also come out over here you can plug in a keypad that you can get from the uh, person that makes this a Mr. Martinez in Mexico um, his H file already has routines for operating a parallel connected LCD and the uh, associated keypad um, my version of course uses a serial or LCD depending on which routine I want to switch it's just based one or the other on commenting out a particular subroutine here is again the electrical connections to the serial LCD it's the same one that I used with the Arduino um, only in this case uh, clock is connected to RB7 data is connected to RB6 uh, RA1 on either the serial or parallel version of the LCD goes to RS and the same thing with E as far as the serial routine other than a minor change to um, to work with RB6 and RB7 is identical to the routine I wrote for Arduino same thing like I said once again you will clock in your 8-bit data be it uh, data or control byte here's your pin 6E a high to low transition will clock the byte into the display control circuitry and to decide whether it is a command or out or ASCII data or ASCII character you go to RS low it's in the command mode one is considered ASCII data read write goes to ground um, go to the uh, website and you will see a large number of routines that I wrote using um, microchip C comp MP lab compiler that will work with either setup display and as I said I've got routines up there for displaying integers strings floats and even binary <laughs>